A second man has been arrested and charged in the killing of a West Bloomfield mother whose body was found in her own burning car a week ago. 19 year old Jalen Stringer is charged with evidence tampering and accessory after the fact in connection with Diana Pesterol's murder. Another man, 18 year old Deshaun Smith, is charged with Pesterol's murder. Police say Smith was visiting Stringer when the murder happened. Now, Diana Pesterol's friends and family are rallying together to try to reconnect with an important part of her life, her horse Clyde. Local force Coco McAvoy spoke with a woman who is helping spearhead the campaign, and she's here to explain how they're rallying together in this. Coco. Jason, Diana Pesserol's death has been extremely devastating for her friends and family. So finding Clyde the horse is a way for them to heal, and they're taking to social media to try to find him. You know, and I will think of her every day, every time I'm here. Noelle Rousseau was inspired to get her horse, Charlie, by her good friend, Diana Pesaro. I mean, she was so caring and she would do anything for you. And, and an animal lover who cared deeply for her now 14-year-old black Tennessee walker, Clyde, who she had to let go of about a year ago because of finances. That she fell into some hard times and she was too prideful to ask anyone for help. With Pesserol's unexpected and tragic death, family and friends are sharing photos of Pesserol and Clyde, asking people where Clyde could be. So we were, you know, even thinking, you know, if someone wanted to sell it, that'd be cool, but even if we could at least have them have closure, see the horse. Because Clyde wasn't just a pet, he was part of the family. Her son asks for Clyde on a regular basis. So locating Clyde means finding a piece of Pesserol to hold on to. She's in an awesome place right now and she's looking down just like hoping that, you know, I know she's rooting for us, um, that we can make her, her mom and her son, you know, have this for their life. Something that friends and family so desperately want and need now more than ever. I would love for Emmy to be able to uh, be with Clyde again. Friends and family don't know when exactly Clyde was let go, where he was last kept, or if he's still alive. So they're looking for answers. And if you have any information on where Clyde is, you're asked to contact them. And we'll, of course, put their contact information on our website, clickondetroit.com. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.